am Dr. Kalya. I am Senior Consultant Neurosurgeon at Lenigas Global Hospital Hyderabad. In this session, I will be speaking about pituitary adenomas. Pituitary adenomas are those tumors which are very difficult to treat. Pituitary gland is a very important gland in our body. This controls nearly 90% of the hormones in our body. So what is a pituitary adenoma? An abnormal proliferation of the cells within the pituitary gland is known as a pituitary adenoma. So this is a kind of tumor within our brain. Pituitary adenoma is located on the under surface of the brain and not within the brain. So even though it's closely associated with the brain, it's not actually a brain tumor. So if you are suffering from pituitary adenoma, it's very important that we diagnose you when the tumor is small. As I've told you, pituitary gland is concerned with secretion of many important hormones in our body. It controls thyroxine, it controls cortisol which is the steroids in the body, it controls growth hormone which is indirect with elevation of which indirectly causes an elevation of your blood sugars. It controls the sex hormones that is estrogen and, pro and progesterone. It also controls vasopressin which is concerned with the fluid balance within our body. So a pituitary adenoma can cause either excessive secretion of these hormones or under secretions of these hormones. So an excessive secretion of thyroxine will cause hyperthyroidism. An under secretion of thyroxine will cause hypothyroidism. Similarly, the other one. An excessive secretion of growth hormone will cause excessive growth. Your skull size will increase. Your finger will increase in breath. You, your height will increase. You will, uh, growth hormone causes an indirect elevation of sugars and all these things. So I have told you as a pituitary adenoma increases in size, it can also cause loss of vision because the optic nerves are closely situated. Coming to the treatment aspect, the first question which you have to answer is do all the pituitary adenomas require surgery? Answer is no. The most common cause of pituitary adenoma is prolactin secreting adenoma which is known as a prolactinoma. These prolactin secreting pituitary adenomas can be managed easily by medicines. Those cases which don't shrink in size with medications will require surgery. All the other types of pituitary adenoma either which are non-secreting or those which are secreting growth hormone or thyroxine or cortisol will require surgery. It's a teamwork by a neurosurgeon and ENT surgeon both of whom are experienced endoscopic surgeries. As I've told you the pituitary adenomas are located at the base of the brain above the nasal cavity. So this surgery involves, in majority of the cases, a device known as endoscope is passed through the nose. In initial part, the ENT surgeon creates space for passing the instruments through the nose to the skull base. Once the skull base is, is reached, the neurosurgeon opens the skull base, reaches the tumor. Both the neurosurgeon and the ENT surgeon together will remove the tumor. So, once the surgery is done, the neurosurgeon will get a repeat MRI to see the extent of the tumor removed. If the complete tumor is removed, you can think that in majority of the cases, you are cured of this tumor. The chances of regrowth are very less. If some part of the tumor is removed, then your neurosurgeon in coordination with the radiation oncologist will decide whether you will require radiotherapy or not. So, if you are diagnosed with pituitary adenoma, do not hesitate to reach your neurosurgeon at the earliest because the outcomes are best when the tumor is diagnosed when it's smaller in size. Thank you.